hello everyone welcome to clean coder youtube channel so today we are going to solve problem number 242 valid anagram okay so this is a very commonly asked interview question so let me go through the problem statement quickly uh, we are given two strings s and t we are supposed to return true if t is an anagram of s and uh, false otherwise so uh, let me tell you uh, briefly first like what uh, is anagram so uh, two strings are called anagrams if uh, i'll obtain the exactly same arrangement on rearranging the second string okay like uh, uh, there is a string a b c d and there is a string uh, b d c b a okay so i can arrange the second string as uh, a b c d so it is the anagram with first string uh, so is string uh, c b a d c b a d so is string b a d c so like all of these are anagrams right but uh, any other string like a a b c d this is not an anagram with a b c d so likewise uh, uh, we can define what is anagram so let's uh, see the examples like this is the anagram string for s and for t they have rearranged like uh, a they have put somewhere else and like on rearrangement we will able to obtain s so they are returning true and for second one clearly r is not present in t so uh, the answer is false so let's uh, check the constraints quickly so the length of the string would be between 1 to 5 into 10 to power 4 and uh, s and t consist of lowercase english letters it's clearly mentioned that they are only using lowercase english letters so follow-up question uh, will come back to this and take the follow-up question in the end so let's move to our whiteboard okay so this is the example which uh, they have uh, given uh, let's uh, quickly see the code and then I'll explain uh, algorithm on that. This is the code uh, which I've submitted. So uh, what uh, we are doing here is the technique used here is hashing. Okay. Hashing. What I am doing is that like if if I have uh, all the lowercase characters present in string, right? like a string consists of all the lowercase characters lowercase characters so i can store the frequency of all the characters in a array that that i can treat it as a frequency hash map right so here i'll store number of a's okay number of a's here i'll store number of b's i'll store here number of c's i'll store here and similarly number of z's would get stored here okay so in the first string like the first string is uh, a b c assuming first string is a b c so what would be the hash map representation of that would be one 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 followed by all zeros right all would be zeros so let's say there is another string t which is bca right these two are clearly anagrams so the hash map representation of second string uh, would again be same right so what i'll do is uh, i'll subtract these two hash maps from one another like element by element so if i obtain an array of, with 26 zeros right an array with 26 zeros then i can clearly say that the these two strings are anagram and in all the other cases i i will say that uh, 
the given two strings are not anagram so this is the main uh, crux of this algorithm let's quickly see that in the code let's understand this line by line so hash map of 26 characters it's clearly mentioned that they are giving us lowercase strings so s length is the length of the first string t length is the length of the second string and this is like a smart condition we are using like if the lengths of two strings are not same then clearly in any case they can't be anagrams of one and another other uh, you can take uh, some examples and uh, you can clearly see from that this is a good uh, early return condition so next we are storing the uh, frequency of all the characters of first string in the hash map i am incrementing that position by one and uh, as it would caret i would return the sky value of that particular character and minus a would make it zero based like it is done to store it in the array with 26 places right so here i am doing plus one and correspondingly for the second string i am doing minus one so if i obtain 26 zeros i'll return true and if any of the hash map element is not zero i'll return false right so this is my algorithm let's quickly discuss the time and space complexity of this algorithm so time complexity of this algorithm is clearly uh, we go of uh, length of string because uh, we need uh, to iterate the string at least one so we go of uh, l plus s or big of s plus t where s and t are length of string so i can write it like this big of s plus t okay so space complexity is o of 26 because clearly i need uh, the only space i need is to store the uh, frequency of uh, s and t and that could be stored in an array of 26 places so this is the time complexity and space complexity and let's see the follow-up question uh, that we missed there so follow-up says uh, what if the input contains unicode characters what would you adapt your solution how would you adapt your solution to such a case so in that case uh, uh, like assuming uh, unicode characters uh, have sky values between ranges uh, 0 to 0 to let's say uh, 511 right let's say uh, as uh, unicode characters have uh, 512 places of uh, characters and uh, they have their sky value ranges between uh, 0 to 511 right so in that case the array which i took with the uh, 26 places here i'll make it uh, 2512 and uh, i think rest of the algorithm would be same and uh, this would clearly work uh, rest of the algorithm would be same so that's uh, the answer to the follow-up question so if you liked uh, this sort of explanation and if this solution helped you in better understanding of the problem please uh, like this video and please subscribe to my channel clean coder thanks a lot for watching this video